Oh, now we're on to the next one. And let me go over the supplies that you will need for this one. This one's um, a little, still a little messy, but it's also quite fun. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to get your paints. You're going to get a canvas board again, just like you did last time. Thick or thin, doesn't matter. This time thin is a, is a little bit better, but it's still the same. And you want to get the colors that you want out. Now, for this one, you want to get a ruler. Now, you're not measuring anything. This is how you're going to mix your paint. I know it sounds strange, but it's really fun. So, what you want to do is get your paints. And I think I'm going to use all my paints this time, but I'm going to go from dark to light. And you want to put a pretty good uh, blob on this, but don't pour it on there. You're just uh, you're just squirting out a little bit. And you kind of want to uh, eye for the middle. You want to start in the middle. Um, about um, a good size blob is good. A little larger than a quarter size. Um, you can put a little bit more, but um, it's really not necessary. So I'm going to put um, another dark color around it. I'm going to go blue. And you're going to put some space in between it. Okay. Now I'm going to um, do something a little strange with this. I am going to go off to the sides as well so that my paint can mix. Interesting. So I'm going to go off to the, um, to the left and the right of this. When I did the blue and purple, I went top and bottom. So it's the same amount of paint and uh, just a kind of a space in between them. So now I've got uh, four, uh, five blobs of paint, two blues, two, one purple, and two reds. And that's okay. Now I'm still going to do something a little strange with my mixing. And this is, you can do this however you want. You can go straight line or you can go off to the side in a diagonal line. This is what I'm going to do just, just for fun. And so I'm going to go off to the, in the middle of the blue and, uh, blue and red. Off to the side, kind of in diagonal mode, and just put a blob of orange. And now I'm going to grab my yellow, and I'm going to go in between the um, blue and red now, off to the um, diagonally, and just put a blob of yellow. And now it kind of looks like you have a square going on here with your colors and a pattern. Yeah. Now, um, using a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, the, what you can do is get a good strong piece of cardboard and just kind of cut in, into um, a lengthwise piece about the size of a ruler. That's good. If it's a little bigger, that's fine. It doesn't have to be the size of a ruler. Uh, if you don't want to get a ruler dirty, the paint will wash off. So, I mean, you're not going to be ruining your ruler. So, it, you may have to soak it a little bit. Um, if you use wood ruler, however, it probably won't wash off. So, use a plastic ruler. But if oh, you have wood, go ahead and use the wood. But you may have to soak it just a little longer. Okay. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get your ruler. You're going to put it in the middle. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay. You want to make sure you have some space. Now, you want to put your ruler smack down in the middle. Now, you want to hold it where um, it's not flat. You want to hold it up where the side is touching the um, the canvas. Spider web off there. Okay, you want to put it smack dab in the middle of the paint. Now you want to turn it, going all the way around, kind of like um, like a like a, a an hour hand on a clock. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise, whatever you want. But you're just going to go all the way in the circle, and the paint will start to mix with each other. There it goes. And then you can kind of move the ruler off to the side a little bit to kind of get a kaleidoscope feeling. And this is turning out really nice, guys. It's looking such like a kaleidoscope effect. You get some of that straggling paint off there. And if you have a little bit left, that's okay. And just kind of scrape it off a little bit. There it goes. And there you go. This is kind of a kaleidoscope piece where the colors have just mixed really beautifully. And so now I'm going to pause one more time again to go on to the next project.